Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be taking a look at analysis of three-phase semiconverter. So let's get started. So this is the waveform of a three-phase semiconverter circuit, which we had seen in the previous video, isn't it? So in this video, we'll be focusing on the analysis part where we will be deriving the average and RMS output voltage for alpha is less than 60 degree and greater than 60 degree. That is for continuous and discontinuous conduction modes. So let's get started with case one. That is when alpha is equal to or when alpha is less than or equal to 60 degrees case one that is when alpha is less than or equal to 60 degrees so in this case what will happen v out dc can be written as 1 by total time period 1 by total time period over here is nothing but 120 degrees the reason is because if you consider alpha less than 60 degree that is this particular waveform if you carefully observe the output voltage starts at 60 degrees and it remains till 180 so 180 minus 60 is nothing but 120 degrees so 120 degrees is nothing but 2 pi by 3 is the duration that we are going to consider and this is equal to 30 plus alpha we know that minimum angle where we can start alpha triggering is nothing but at this point that is 30 degree plus alpha so this is something that we have seen continuously in our previous videos and the next limit is up to 90 degrees over here for VAB. So you'll be having VAB D omega T plus the next waveform that is starting at 90 and it's ending at over this point that is nothing but 180. So we can write it as 150 plus alpha because we are getting 180 here because alpha is nothing but 30 degrees. So in general, if you have to write, it's nothing but 90 to 150 plus alpha VAC D omega T. So if you know how to write this expression from here, it is about solving this mathematically. So V out DC is nothing but 3 by 2 pi into integration of 30 plus alpha to 90 root 3 VAB is nothing but root 3 VM sine of omega T plus 30 degrees plus integration of 90 to 150 plus alpha root 3 VM sine of omega T minus 30 degrees isn't it so now so these expression VAB, VAC we have seen in our previous videos in a fully controlled rectifier how did we derive for VAB similarly we can do it for VAC so V out DC is nothing but taking root 3 VM common so you will be left out with 3 root 3 VM by 2 pi into integration of sinus cos minus cos so you will be getting instead of considering minus cos we can consider as plus cos and change the lower and upper limits, isn't it, according to the integration rule. So we can write it as 30 plus alpha to 90 degrees. Again, plus integration of sinus minus cos. So we can change the limits again by considering 90 to 150 plus alpha, isn't it? Now continuing, substituting it, V out DC you will be getting 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi substituting the upper and lower limits so cos of that is 60 plus alpha minus cos 120 so this is just substitution of upper and lower limits I'm writing the term from the previous page cos of 120 plus alpha now this can be further simplified 3 root 3 Vm by 2 pi cos 60 cos alpha minus cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so sin 60 sin alpha plus 0.5 plus 0.5 that is minus cos 120 is minus 0.5 minus of minus 0.5 will be plus 0.5 cos 60 is again plus 0.5 minus cos 120 again this is cos of a plus b formula cos alpha minus of minus minus is, is there outside so minus of minus will be plus sin 120 sin alpha 
so further simplifying and solving 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi this is cos 60 is 0.5 so 0.5 cos alpha minus sin 60 is root 3 by 2 sin alpha plus this is nothing but 1 minus cos 120 is minus 0.5 minus of minus 0.5 will be plus 0.5 cos alpha plus again root 3 by 2 sin alpha so these two terms will get cancelled out 0.5 cos alpha 0.5 cos alpha will be 1 cos alpha so substituting final expression v out dc is equal to 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha now let's take a look at the rms output voltage now again for rms output voltage we have the output expression given as from fundamental definition we can write it as v out rms is equal to square root of 1 by total time period that is nothing but 2 pi by 3 the limits everything remains the same as we did for the average voltage 30 plus alpha to 90 degree that is v a b square d omega t plus 90 to 150 plus alpha v a c square d omega t so now we can simplify this as square root of 3 by 2 pi so VAB square we know that it's root 3 square VM square sin square omega t plus 30 degrees so we can write that particular term 30 plus alpha to 90 degrees so root 3 square VM square sin square omega t plus 30 degrees plus 92 150 plus alpha root 3 square vm square sin square omega t minus 30 degrees now this can be further written as taking root 3 square common and vm square common outside root 3 square is nothing but 3 3 into 3 you will be getting 9 so this will be 9 vm square by 2 pi and we can write the limits as it is sine square omega t plus 30 degree can be written as sine theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 isn't it so 2 times omega t plus 60 degrees so cos 2 theta theta is this particular term so 2 i am just multiplying inside whole divided by 2 plus again 90 to 150 plus alpha 1 minus cos 2 omega t minus 60 degrees whole divided by 2 now further simplifying this that is nothing but 9 vm square we can take 2 outside so it will be 4 pi and integration we can start doing that is omega 1 is omega t integration in general integration of cos is sine so we will be getting minus sine of 2 omega t plus 60 degrees upper limit and lower limit like keeping it as it is 30 plus alpha to 90 degrees plus again you have omega t minus sine 2 omega t minus 60 degrees so here you have to remember one thing by applying chain rule you have to again integrate the cos of 2 omega t term so you will be getting by 2 here and again by 2 here 90 degrees to 150 plus alpha now simplifying this further you will be getting 9 vm square by 4 pi this is this you will be getting 90 upper limit minus lower limit 90 minus 30 minus alpha minus you can take 1 by 2 common substituting sine of 240 upper limit 
plus sine of 120 plus 2 alpha again plus for this particular term that is you will be getting 60 plus alpha minus again taking 1 by 2 outside common for this particular term you will be getting sine of 240 plus 2 alpha plus sine 120 now if you carefully observe we can cancel plus alpha and minus alpha over here and we can further simplify this that is 90 minus 60 is 60 60 plus 60 we have 120 degrees so considering that we can further write this v out r rms output voltage to be equal to square root of 9 vm square by 4 pi 120 degrees plus root 3 by 4 plus sine 120 again splitting it sine of a plus b is nothing but sine a cos b and cos a sine b and multiplying 2 inside in both the terms cos 120 sine 2 alpha by 2 minus sine of 240 cos 2 alpha by 2 this term will continue cos 240 sin 2 alpha by 2 plus root 3 by 4 now further simplifying this v out rms is equal to square root of 9 vm square by 4 pi 120 degrees is nothing but 2 pi by 3 root 3 by 4 and root 3 by 4 will be root 3 by 2 again if you simplify and substitute all of these terms by this you will be getting root 3 by 2 cos 2 alpha by substituting all the values so you will be getting v out rms to be equal to square root of 9 vm square by 4 pi 2 pi by 3 plus root 3 by 2 taking it as common 1 plus cos 2 alpha so this is the expression for rms value of output voltage now let's take a look at what happens in the next cycle that is alpha is less than or alpha is greater than or equal to 60 degree that is case 2 what happens when alpha is greater than or equal to 60 degrees so derivation of this is fairly straightforward v out dc is nothing but again total time period is 2 pi by 3 120 degrees if you carefully observe this waveform if we consider this waveform starting at 30 plus alpha as usual we'll be considering 30 plus alpha and it's going up to this point that is 210 degrees over here if you carefully observe and extrapolate it's up to 210 degrees and we have only one term here that is with respect to each cycle we have ac line voltage ac or b or cb so we'll be considering only ac that is root 3 vm sine of omega t minus 30 degrees d omega t you'll be getting 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi taking common terms outside integration of sine is cos so cos of so integration of sine is minus cos so i'll be writing the same term here and i'll be jumbling the lower and upper limits i'm basically inverting the lower and upper limits for simplification purpose 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi cos alpha that is upper limit minus cos 180 if you simplify the lower limits so simplifying this expression you'll be getting v out dc to be equal to 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha <coughs> isn't it 
So this is V of DC expression. Now what happens to the RMS output voltage V out RMS? V out RMS again considering 2 pi by 3 that is for 120 degrees 30 plus alpha to 210 degrees it is nothing but VAC square again so root 3 square Vm square sine square omega t minus 30 degrees so the major thing is you have to consider the line voltage AC and it is having a term root 3 Vm sin omega t minus 30. So that's important thing that you have to consider. Square root of again simplifying and taking the terms outside just like the way we derived for previous RMS output voltage. So you'll be having 30 plus alpha 210 1 minus cos 2 omega t minus 60 degrees. This can be written as square root of 9 vm square by 4 pi integration of omega t minus sine of 2 omega t minus 60 degrees whole divided by 2 30 plus alpha to 210 degrees again we can take 9 vm square by 4 pi outside as it is 180 minus alpha minus sine 360 by 2 substituting the prime lower limits sine 2 alpha by 2 so finally simplifying this further you will be getting square root of 9 vm square by 4 pi into pi minus alpha plus sine to alpha by 2. So this is the RMS output voltage expression in discontinuous conduction mode. So these are all important formulas that we will be using for solving problems. So please do make a note of it. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of how to analyze a three phase semiconverter. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by tapping in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.